All right, dads. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Another every damn day workout. Let's just get this recap done. So today was a bit of a strength day with a focus on our lower body. So we're not looking, not today, not looking necessarily moving a lot of heavy weight. Just picking a weight that we know that we can move, we can cycle through it fairly well. Um, but then also slowing down some of those reps. Um, big day yesterday with two training sessions, one in the afternoon with a lot of squats. So it was good for me to get some work done on the legs today, obviously with some foam rolling on the quads, hammers and glutes before doing so. So today it's simple, we're gonna use the interval timer. We're gonna go on a simple old school, 45 seconds of work, 15 second rest. Just run that for 30 minutes. There are five exercises and you're gonna rest in the six minute. So again, so six in the 30, it's five rounds and we are done. So we're gonna use our barbell today. So um, again, if you don't have a barbell, look, you can use dumbbells, you can use kettlebells. Um, if you don't have any weights at all, then you can still do the movement, all our body weight, you just use yourself a broom handle, which is what I'm gonna to use to demonstrate. So, simple broom handle, this oats one, it's like a one and a half meters, buy it at Bunnings, couple of bucks, otherwise just use your broom handle. Um, just make sure it doesn't have a big floppy head on the end. So, here's how it's gonna work. In our 45 seconds, we're aiming to get around 12 reps of each of the movements. So, for some of them, you'll bang out that 12 really quickly. My encouragement is therefore to slow them down. If you're using the, um, the WOD proof or the GoWOD, uh, whatever smart WOD timer that I use, it'll beep and tell you when there's eight, you're at halfway. So you've done 20 seconds, aim to get your, your one rep every five or so seconds and you'll get that, right? The so first one, um, simple barbell lunges. So we're gonna get the barbell up over the shoulders. We're gonna sit not too high in the neck. We wanna try and get it back here in a bit of a low bar position. And therefore what that's gonna mean is we're gonna to need to pull the bar into our shoulders. And again, we're just doing reverse lunges. So standing here, it's gonna simply come back. We're coming all the way to the floor, tap and stand. Okay, and then obviously repeat the other leg. Real simple, emphasis on holding your core tight. Chest proud, shoulders back and stepping into the ball of the foot. We're not having a real big, big lunge. We're just stepping back so that way then i can drive off the back foot and i can use my front quad also to stand as i get tired so number one barbell reverse lunges number two is broad jumps so what i mean by broad jumps again just like jumping across if you've got a box you can do box jumps do plyometrics right uh, no box of a burpees none of that just simple broad jumps now the way that i did them today i started low and i landed low so i wasn't exploding too far, that's just exploding a nice distance. So I'm gonna sit down into my squat, sitting down into my squat, and I'm just going to hop, but I'm also gonna land in my squat. So the whole idea is I'm not fully extending, but I'm simply driving heels, balls of my feet off, and I'm landing balls of my feet into my heels, and I'm staying low the whole time. So I just went up and down the driveway till I heard the 10 seconds, and then turned around, and then got up, got ready for the next exercise. So again, little low broad jumps. Okay, coming into the third one, barbell bent row. So what I'm looking for here, I'm looking to be tipped right at the hips. If you have some lower back problems, and again, I want you to elevate it, we need to come up a bit higher. If you don't, and you've got it, and you're working on the lower back strength, particularly what we call the posterior chain, the, the rear end, hamstrings, lower back, I want you in feet into a neutral position and I want from here and I want to tip down. So what I chose to do is six underhand grip. So from here, pulling it up into my upper abdomen, into the bottom of my stern, six, and then change my grip. And then went a little bit wider into what we call a snatch grip and then come up and you can see I got to pull through my shoulders, but I'm always bent over here. All right, in, the case, in my case, my belly sits through, but I'm tucking it in, right? I'm squeezing through my glutes, I'm squeezing through my abs, and therefore my focus on my pull is through my back, from my overhand, and then from my underhand grip, it's pulling through the lower part of my lats and into my biceps. And number three, number four, we picked up a dead ball, simple dead ball cleans, so you know the drill, balls on the floor, pick the dead ball up to my shoulder, put it back down. Okay, now, if you don't have a dead ball, you don't have something that you can drop, 
and you've just got this here, then again, what I want you to simply do is I want you to do an explode. So from here, whew, stand, get back down again. So we're down low and we're driving through here. We're driving high, okay? I want you to drive up, but I want you to learn to land soft, okay? If you don't have a dead ball, but you've got a kettlebell, you could also do goblet squats, okay? And the last one, is we chose a combination alternated between barbell thrusters, right, which is a squat and a press, and a simple front squat. So I'm focusing a lot on my front squat because I don't have that flexibility through here to get into what they call the rack position. So a lot of my focus today was on sitting my legs out wide, getting the barbell into this rack position. You can see even with no weight, I, I, I can't sit, but with weight, it can sit down on my clavicle and it will sit here. And I'm only barely getting my fingertips. So for those who can't do that, what I tend to do is I tend to take my thumbs, put them at the bar and here. So I'm pushing it up, I'm pushing the bar. It's like it's choking you, but I'm pushing into here. Because if I've got my elbows up, I've got my upper body up. And therefore, I was choosing to go down into a nice deep squat. If you've got the nice, if you've got the front rack, then again, your thrusters is a squat and press motion. And we're only looking for between 8 and 12 with the weight. You can see I'm still perspiring. It was a half an hour and it was a strength activity and you know 10 minutes after that and I'm now at 500 calories burned. So I'm good at the workout without killing myself and without going super, super heavy on the deadlift or any of the lifting. So that's it. Interval based strength. Um, therefore a bit of lower body today with these guys after yesterday. That's the workout. Cheers, enjoy, usual, like, subscribe, comment, peace.